we had to get back home jay's birthdays is always on monday Ooh, he's Yo, turning dirty 30 that's crazy like some content creators you know battle is um giving up so easily if you guys really do want to get into content creating and you guys want to make this a full-time job you definitely could because social media is the new wave it's you know the new generation i think a lot of people are like oh you're just making money off of tiktok no we make money off of every platform out there Welcome back to another week of Mom Said, Dad Said. Ah! You got your host, Jay and... Gabriela. Oh, sorry. Man, you ain't never said that in a while. Girl. Gabriela. Gabriela. I'm just kidding. Gabriela. But, um... We are back, baby. Hey, we're home. We're home. We're, we're home. freaking home. We're freaking home. We're home, man. I swear, we've been on the go. Like... <laughs> I low key have a headache, and I, I'm just like, wow, we've been out in this heat in Florida. We've been Yo, out in Gatlinburg. Florida we've heat. Been out cabins. I'm not, not like cabins, the freaking camping. I mean, it's been fun, though, We because we, we said that we were going to be active this summer, and we have been fulfilling that. So, But it's been fun. Like, yes. that Florida heat, though. The Florida heat was insane. But Drench. You know I'm talking what? walking outside and. Like maybe like five minutes in, if you're doing something, you sweat. It felt like you was in like um, like you had a blow dryer just like in your face, <laughs> like there was no cool cool breeze, nothing. I think it was. A li I think what made it a little bit cool, like for us not to be as bad, was like the rain that came in. I know the rain when you know obviously when you, we were we got rained on when we was in Disney, and uh. And at the water park. So I feel like that kind of like cooled us down. And the water park, come on. Like when it's hot, like water parks are the best place to go. Like Bro, so that, that's go. exactly why like, because people were already saying that yeah. in July, Florida's hot. So that's why I was like, we went to a water let's park. Hit a, let's hit a water park mid, mid park. Like that we're between going. the like, parks between that the we parks, went. Mm -hmm. That way we're fucking like warm, uh, cold yeah keep, keep cool you know what i'm saying but we met a lot of like creators that we already like were friends with you know virtually but we finally met them in person we met Hell laurel yeah. benz and his family <laughs> his girlfriend and her family and they were amazing i'm telling Larry you guys and like sachi baby yeah, yeah. they hey, they was a vibe good people good people they yes. love the family bro like yes. love the family i love what you guys are doing hey shout out to y'all you guys are are killing it and hey, when we was walking in the uh we was walking around, we was like, look at this dude, he's getting stopped. Look at him. Yeah, at yeah. Him. He has so much love. He love literally it, had so much love in Florida. Yes. And honestly, and what's what's crazy is that even my sister is like a big fan of his. Like, mm -hmm. even though my sister has her little support system, she loves Laro and she loves the Boba girl. Yes, you know? I, it was yes. it's just crazy because like before we even like all oh, met, I used to like see his videos, yeah. see see the what a Boba girl. And yeah. um it was just crazy because it's like if we can get if we get Tatiana and her and, and her to collab, that'd be amazing. But we also met Justin Wicked. and Ashley and their family. Honestly, Justin is just as funny in person, yes. probably funnier. I swear that man will have you in tears, cracking the whole, cracking the whole time, cracking everybody bro. up, literally. The whole um, time. He definitely it has will, full it was personality. Up, what's crazy is that he just it comes like it's on the spot. It's like so natural. It's like right there. Just anything it's, that he says is just. Like, what the fuck? And you know what's funny is that Justin kept saying <laughs> like he was like Jay he said nah Jay's fun like he was cracking up on Jay and it's so funny because like having two funny people in a room like they're two f funny ass freaking people and when they both were together together Jay over here cracking up on him but he cracking up on Jay <laughs> and I think it's because when Jay cracks up jokes like he's dead ass serious like he's not even like laughing like he just serious <laughs> face but says off the wall shit. <laughs> I'll say some off the wall random shit out of nowhere, or I'll do a funny looking ugly ass face. But that's just, just how Jay is, shit. and you that's guys just... know from TikTok Hell and like yeah. his videos, like this man be so serious <laughs> with when he jokes, and Justin just be smiling, happy to be there. It's just I so swear. funny. Hey, shout out to y'all. Hey, we love the yeah. family. Both families, hey, we had a great time. Uh, the kids loved the, uh, your kids, so it was definitely a blast. Yeah, we all had fun. Like, we all clicked. It's like we all knew each other, like, for years. Oh, yeah. It was crazy. Hell, yeah. That's exactly what it was. We had, like, family dinner nights and then just, like, just things like that. And it was crazy because, like, 
we we did that a lot back then even before social media with our oh, friends yeah, so we when were, we did that with all of our friends out there it was just like damn like it would this how this is how it would be if we was out in florida because most of our friends are out there we also met love so real literally they was genuine and humble like nothing like they was just how they was in videos is how they was in person i'm telling you guys the people that we've met on this trip like hell yeah they was nothing but like humble and genuine and you know just funny to be around and it literally our kids all loved each other literally got along um i wish we could have stayed there longer and hung out longer man but you know we had to get back home jay's birthdays is always on monday Ooh, yo dirty that's crazy you know it's yeah. it like right after the trip boom birthday Birthday. so we have a whole week to kind of recover Mm. and stuff and then we go on our little birthday trip but the birthday trip is not too long it's only for like three days so um but it is something just to get away from the kids or whatever but Mm. yeah she's taking me somewhere or whatever yeah he knows the location but he doesn't know what we're doing so yeah i don't have no idea all i see is uh is is the bank account (laughs) and i see i see swipety swipes and i'm like what is the fuck is this? Y'all, y'all, if you know me, I'm not very materialistic. I'm not really big on like, oh, I want to spend, spend, spend. I know you guys see them Stanley Cups and shit, but you know what I'm saying? I just do it to make them mad, you know? I don't do it just because. No, she I- really like, she <laughs> liked them too. She, You know what's funny? She don't even use them. And, okay. I, I, d- I don't them. Them motherfuckers be sitting in the fucking cabinet. <laughs> I give them away though. I'm actually giving one away soon. So need, if you guys are listening to, to this, all of them make away. sure you guys stay tuned to my Instagram stories. Um, stay tuned because I'm going to do a big giveaway on my Can Instagram Can I say my story. Instagram name? No. <laughs> the fuck you, you guys think this is? Make sure you guys go um, at, glam by do- uh, at Glam by Gabrielle K underscore. Hopefully I'll have it up here. She's going to be giving um, away one. And then if you go to mine, I'm going to be giving away all of them. No, you're not. So (laughs) j.royalty.k. Follow your boy. You know you know what I'm saying? Make sure you listen because I'm definitely going to be giving away all the Stanley Cups. No, you're not. You don't use them. It doesn't matter. You're not giving them away. Don't need them. We do it. We use it for content purposes. You know that. Fuck your content. <laughs> <laughs> but y'all, I am gonna be giving one away. Um, I have I was supposed to give one away uh like a, over like two weeks ago, but we've been busy, man. So now that we're home for a w- little bit, I am going to post one this week. So just stay tuned for that. Y'all better stay um, on her because I'm. I, you know what? I'm gonna stay on her because I need to get rid of them. We gonna get rid of <laughs> one every week. Every Nowhere week is not. gonna be gone. Nowhere not. Every week giving away Sundays on Sundays. Stanley, shut Cubs. up. But y'all, uh, um, I also um, think that the main topic that we want to really to talk about today is I know we see a lot of uh, y'all's feedback and comments, and y'all, even though I get I can't reply to every comment or whatever, I do try to reply to you guys. But I do see what you guys say in the in the comments. I I do read them, um, not all of them because it's kind of hard, but. You guys do say, like, how do you guys do it with all the trips, school, all that? And I think I've covered this in one of the podcasts, like, how it it, it is. It, it could be hard, but I feel like when you just have the help, like, the family and all that, the best, the best hack is to bring the grandparents because... <laughs> When you have the grandparents there, it's a lot of help, like when it comes to like vacations and stuff, because it is hard when you have a toddler and, you know, two little ones. And I think in the van, Jeremiah, very independent and stuff. So the vacations are not too hard, especially when the grandparents are there because they can help and stuff Mm. like that, because Nova is a little diva. Um, So doing the vacations and stuff, (laughs) it's not too bad um, when you have the help. etc and then also with the kids being in school well about to start school back up again next next month um i think that's when we're going to slow down with the trips in here we'll probably go on little weekend trips here and there or if we get invited by you know brands and stuff oh, we'll go maybe it's football season. yeah football season football season is kind of like yeah we staying behind because it's like i gotta watch them games yeah or we're gonna go to some games that's gonna be fun yeah too. Plus, so we try to manage all like the mm-hmm. vacations, the sports, the school, sp- sports, uh, school and sports are a big priority in our family. But oh, yeah. we also are big on school. Like if you're not succeeding in school, then you're not going to be able to do sports. And that's how we kind of on me on 100. So school does come first always in our household. Um, but how we manage everything is just wild. I know people are like, how do you even work every single day? 
you know because i know with the job we do like people say oh it's just videos it's just videos and but there's a lot more than it's just recording and stuff i think it's a lot more when it comes to having you know having to edit everything but also have to manage while you are you know with kids and having to come up with content to do and produce to you guys but i think a lot of our content's so natural that it's not too too hard on our part because it's just us being us and you know showing out every single day but like having to be consistent like man y'all need a tv show yes and then honestly that would be would be fun it's not really too hard too like no like i feel like we're just being us and if we're doing skits and put thought into it then cool yeah but most of it is just natural um so i guess like when you're just yourself like content creating is not is not too hard if it's like a passion i feel like because it's our passion and i love i love doing what we do um i love waking up (laughs) every day and funny story is like I remember when I really didn't give a shit about doing. He this never, shit. Wa- y'all. He <laughs> would talk probably. so much shit. Like I'm not I'm even like, lying, Gabby. I'm tired. He of didn't doing like doing videos, but it's yes. so funny because like Jay was just so natural behind the camera, and like me, I'm I'm one of those content creators where I love to talk and I love to. I love to like so influence good. when it comes to products and stuff. And that's how I started was with makeup. So it's like mm-hmm. doing all that. I was already like kind of natural with Glam it. By yes. So, Ooh. and maybe, you know, I'll come back hard with my makeup, but <clears throat> right now we're on a grind where we're, we're trying to hit these goals and stuff. So it's kind of been hard to kind of just sit down because Nova needs my attention hundred percent. So I didn't have that with Nova and Jeremiah. They kind of were like not really up my butt when I was doing makeup. But Nova, mm-mm. I can't mm. leave her sight because she's like, Mom, where are you at? Like, I wouldn't be able to do anything. But hopefully, I will be able to come back hard with my makeup again because that is still one of my main passions. I really besides think you should content. because you, you're you good at it. Yeah, like, it's not something that is like... Maybe I'll stop getting off. my lashes done so I can just yeah. start doing my makeup looks because oh, it's kind of hard. Yeah. Shut up. Yeah, stop getting it's, those dang lashes it's done. It's kind of hard to do um, makeup when you have lashes. Like, I could do makeup with, with them, but... I would, if I was going to do like all those designs and crazy things for you guys, I would have to have no lashes because like I need to like go into the thing. And obviously you guys know getting makeup into your lashes is not fun because you have to go like literally scrub them out. I don't know, et cetera. You know, it's none of, I know if guys are listening to this, like what I'm, the fuck I'm is sitting that? at, I'm sitting here like, what the fuck is you talking yeah, about? So <laughs> having lashes as a makeup artist, it's kind of, it's kind of hard. So I just been getting them done recently because we just, like I said, we've been on GOMO. But how we manage everything is um, go mo. Is hey, who, who sang that song? Who sang that song? Shut up, go mo. Go mo. Is that a AJ shit? AJ, <laughs> you're stupid. AJ shit. But people want to know, like, how do we, how do we juggle everything? How do we post every day and and consistent and and how do we do sports and how do we how do we keep up with vacations? How do we do everything? Like how? <laughs> <laughs> because man we the bought no i'm just kidding no nah, honestly it, it really is it's a tough task but i mean like i said like we said before like we're ready for that task we always take every day uh by hand and just like <sighs> i think we just like are just really like like also this is how we feel with our job you definitely have a lot of leeway, leeway. like if you're sick yeah, that's, if you're sick uh, yeah. or whatever like you don't have to create content when you're sick you could just post drafts or post whatever like content they have left but with us we just feel like if we just sit around and like we're not <laughs> i'll be we're like not, dang did we if do we're not if we're not working like if we're not doing we don't feel like we're working and with this job you can't just give up either i feel like what a lot of content creators like some content creators you know battle is um giving up so easily because i know we have a lot of like you guys in our messages asking us for advice and stuff like how to do content creating or like where to start but when you guys Mm -hmm. when you guys do this job like don't give up like if you guys really do want to get into content creating and you guys want to make this a full-time job you definitely could because social media is the new wave it's you know the new generation it's social media helps with not just being a content creator not just being an influencer but it helps with businesses like if you have like a 
business you want to start and you want to incorporate social media into your business but not mm-hmm. be an influencer but just to just to promote your business yeah, you don't even social have to media be an is the yeah you don't have to be an influencer you, you could just, just brand promote yourself. your brand, yeah. brand the, the what you're interested in your business your just business brand, it out brand it out on social media because right now social media is it's, like you said that weight is that it's new that wave. new wave of jobs and etc and it doesn't help with just brand deals it helps with like i said yeah. your brand if you want to start your own brand and your own um your own business social media is going to help you with that business and that's why with like the tiktok shop i see i have we haven't even like tried the Man, tiktok shop but i see so even... many people trying to like you know sell their yep. stuff through their business and they're making thousands and thousands a month and right there it just shows you just start that business and just go for it just don't give up consistency because if you give up Stay because you're getting 200 views 100 views and mm-hmm. and you're like I'm not getting no views. Now you can't just think like oh let me be a con- let me just be a content creator. I want to make some money to you. You have to go in. You have it. to go into it as if it's a passion. You yes. can't do it for the money. You got to do it because you love it. And that's something just go that go for what you like whatever your 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 mind is set mm-hmm. to and just drill it. Cuz that's how we it. started. We started with like and we still we still think this like we still have that thought process but when we started social media um, we didn't think it was going to be a job. No, we really didn't. Like no. we literally had so much fun doing it and we At still all. have so much fun doing it. Now it's just, it is a job, but it's also a fun, it's so fun and we love it. You got to love what you're doing. You can't do it for the wrong reasons. You got to do it in the mindset of like you were going to make money. I never thought in a million years Not doing ever. TikTok was going to have us be social media influencers on every platform. And I think a lot of people are like, oh, you're just making money off of TikTok. No. We make money off of every platform out there. And it's not just TikTok. TikTok did help us get to where we're at. And I'm going to give them all the freaking props. Yes, TikTok has helped us get to where we're at. But every platform does pay. And um, yeah, it may not be too much on most platforms. Like IG is kind of hard. Yeah. IG is really kind of hard. IG is really hard. Yeah. But um, the grind don't stop. You got to keep going because one Mm. day... You that, just never know. You just never yeah. know what video. What no, it just. You just never know what could go. Exactly. And crazy. And, and, and when it like, and when yeah. it happened, we were shocked. But yeah. We, I literally. I remember. It was like like it was yesterday. I was sitting down. I was playing Call of Duty with the boys, and Gabby was upstairs doing a makeup look. <laughs> crazy, right? I was doing a makeup. I texted look. Gabby. I said, "Babe, go look at the freaking video right now." And it was like at it was at five hundred thousand views at 500, the time, and we were like. But in a couple of days, it was at 15 million. And yeah. we were like, Bro, what the F? And mind you guys, this? we only had like 10,000 followers at yeah, the time. Yeah, because we had that day, we had just hit 10,000 yeah. because there was one other video that did It was of good. him like um, about to shit. Yeah. And it was on ridiculousness. He was going to shit himself. And he yep. went. But y'all, like I said, we literally, Crazy. all those just videos, all those videos were natural too. Natural, like, just whatever. We were just ourselves. And we're like, wow, like people are following us because they think we're funny or like they love us and it's just like what we were just like we were just being ourselves and having fun on this app so it's just like we never thought it was gonna you know become where we're at now like now we have yeah. five mil five point three million of you guys and it's just insane i Lovely sometimes it supporters. doesn't feel real and and love you guys man. we're freaking blessed and thankful but like i said yep. do not give up when you have it could be anything when you have your mind to it that's the thing you just can't give up because if you gave up because you're not getting the views that you want and and, and you know what you want right away you're not going to ever know in a year or two from now where your your page would be at if you never gave up because you just got to keep going and, and we kept going thinking like it was just fun and mm. we just but we were just posting every day but we saw that consistency is what helped us grow day. and we were it like was what every day posting and this is the time frame that i was like oh gabby leave me alone i want to <laughs> go play call of duty leave well, me it's alone because he was in his gaming area i he was i was it was like every, every night day. at nine o'clock and dot. he was working. He was in the military, yeah. so he didn't want to come my home. Rela- it was my videos. relaxed wine time. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. winding down, and then like I was, I was, I was working, and then coming home, creating content with Gabby, and then I wanted to play the game. So it was like I was going. Yeah, I was, so, I was moving. So when he saw that, like you know, obviously, like when I saw know, the growth, I was like, and when he saw how okay. the supporters actually, how the many supporters, supporters were stopped. I remember we got two hundred thousand followers on TikTok, and we were getting stopped in Texas like crazy, and we were like, 
what the heck like why are we getting stopped we're just normal people you know so that's kind of hit us didn't, and that's you know when, what even to to this day it still don't even it doesn't it doesn't it doesn't it still it doesn't hit us me. like it, it doesn't it, it hits me like when you guys like come and say hi to us it really does make my day and it's i'm pretty like, sure it what? makes every, every, still, all of our we're still shocked yes. by like the love and support and that I we get i appreciate y'all man for sure but 100 percent, y'all just like seriously when you want something go for it and just don't just be yourself be consistent and don't give up honestly. that's why i don't understand like the beef in this industry like i just i don't get it i don't get it either and i think i think with us we don't we don't have beef don't with care. we don't have beef with anybody but i just will not ever associate myself with somebody that i know that has beef with beef with us if that makes sense i just feel like when people it's crazy in this industry that you'd be surprised that there be people that don't like you that don't even know you. Don't e- and that's what shocks. That's me. what's really crazy. That's what shocks. Like you don't me. even give the chance to like meet the person, get to know. And the it person, makes me not even want to meet you. It yeah, makes me not even want to meet you ever. Yeah, and I just think that, that we're in a, like a time like that's why the people that we've met recently like. I mm. love that we literally connected with these people because I'm telling you, when you're around them, there is no negative vibes no one's talking Mm-mm. about nobody we're all having a good time and i just love that i hate being around people that just talk shit the whole time and it just like makes me so mad like i literally because i'm like okay if they're talking about all these people they have to be talking about us too that's just how i feel but other than that you know i just love being around good people and good vibes and that's what we're on that's all we want yeah. I, I want to surround myself with positivity oh yeah for sure positivity but yeah the grind energy. does not the grind does not stop at all whether like i'm telling you guys like i think everything we do is for our kids and the fact that i'm able to take my kids places that i never been at at their age you know i know the circumstances my mom was you know like you know struggling when you know she was my age raising us and and i'm just blessed to be here being be able to do this for my kids like seeing a smile on their face going to disney or going to a water park or going out of town or going anywhere around the world it makes my heart happy that i'm able to do that for them and and it makes all this that we're doing worth it even though we're tired we're exhausted sometimes we're human we're parents 24 7 um it's a rewarding job when that you're able to do all this like all that hard work pays off so i just feel like everything that we do is worth it every sleep that i've lost is worth it every you know like every fart that you took to your face (laughs) from me at night was worth it (laughs) you're so annoying sorry But no, I I, I just out. feel like you guys have a dream, and it it doesn't have to be just social media. But if you guys no, have a dream it, it for anything, have to be anything, just go for, go it. for it because Work, you baby. never know. Like when you're scared, that's exactly when you have to like have to jump. Because I'm gonna tell you right now, me and Gabby was shy as fuck on that camera, boy. And no, we, were we were because like we were being Bruh, ourselves, but oh, we were me. so shy. We well, let me let me uh, rephrase that. We were shy doing content in public we were not shy doing content like um obviously being ourselves or whatever but we were shy doing it in front of people and i think when we're out in public when we first started we were just like oh my god people are staring at us they're staring at us doing videos now we're just like we don't care like i think it's just because it's helped us with our shyness when it comes to like public what is it called public um Um, uh I, you know what I mean. Like I know what you mean, but I gotta <laughs> hold on. Let me figure it out. <laughs> I need to figure it out. I get what you're saying, though. No, it helps with like your. I don't know. I I, I literally can't even think right now because of my head's been like yeah, yeah. fried from the last. Days. I have a fried head. <laughs> but it's helped with so much with your like um you know social doing, anxiety or something yes because I, I have so i used to well i have anxiety but like i used to have it so bad where like i just cared so much about what other people think when i was doing stuff in public so it's just like and i was like that in cheerleading cheerleading helped me with my shyness too is like i was able to you know go in front of a whole crowd and perform even though sometimes embarrassing things happen where if i slipped on the ground in front of everyone i think that's why i'm like glad i did play a little football because yeah. you know putting yourself out on that stage for other eyes to Gosh. look at you at that age that helped build that mm. confidence to be in front of the camera and talk or yeah. just be in front of people now 
Now, one thing I have not done yet was go in front of the big crowd and do some crazy shit. I have not done that. And Y'all, I think I would be scared shitless. Probably my what shit blows my, my mind, and this is what's crazy. <laughs> You're so stupid. <laughs> what blows my mind, and I think about it now, is that since I was a little girl, like since I was Nevaeh's age, and it, I see her, I see me in her all the time, and it's just crazy, is I, I always had a camera. And I even had a camera growing up. I always had a camera and I would record and I would even record myself as if I was vlogging. (laughs) I even recorded myself or I even took pictures. I always had the camera on like for everything, even growing up. And then when I was in high school, I always took pictures in the camera. My mom had a Canon and I just always (laughs) did photo shoots. I always did this. And now everything that I did as a kid and I'm seeing now, I'm just like, wow. Now I'm a content creator and everything that I did when I was little and even editing, I was in an editing class in freaking high school. That's I don't even really know crazy. why I was in an editing class in and high school. And now you know why she's in it. Ed- she was in editing class. I it was, was like, wow. Built, she built the foundation to her life that you do now. That's and it's wild. Crazy, it blows man. my mind because I was in an editing class and I didn't even want to be in an editing class. And it was a class that was hard to get in. It was called Blue Review in Fort Campbell High School. I guess I was And it just... was it was a hard class to be in so you had to be like you had to be very educated to be in that class. Man, no no no. Shut no, your I'm serious. Ass I'm serious because up. when I was a sophomore year of high school You had to be educated. You could be taught that stuff. No, it's not yeah, you could be taught but but those people that were in that class was a special class. Like not anybody can be in that class. Like the teacher back in the day though. No, the teacher could have denied you for what to even be in that your class. Your personality, or you got. I don't know how the hell I got in there. I really don't. But I remember was like I was. I remember I was. So the people that were in Blue Review were in it for every year until they graduated. They were in that class together. Like you couldn't add no new people. You could. They they allowed some, but most of them were people that literally like were with each other all those years Mm. so when i was in that class i was nervous because everybody knew each other and had like a close relationship and i was just like the new person like so when i learned off of off of everybody and like the editing and stuff that's how i like i was learned with all that like how i learned all that and i was so scared to be in that class and now that i see everything that i learned in that class and how i do now and how i edit everything like on my phone or on the computer and and was you kind of like a class clown a little bit um, I was silly, yeah. You were silly because I got a, you know, some of your friends keep saying, you know, you are definitely silly as shit back in the day. Yeah, I was very silly. I never took anything serious, and I think Jay knows how that is now. I was very silly. I'm always the one who was making the ugly faces, and <laughs> even though I was like, I guess cute to people I still make ugly faces and didn't care how I was like. I was always I, cracking I, jokes girl. and. I was very, yeah, I was always silly. I was That's crazy, silly. bro, because I, I used to do the same shit. Class and yeah, clown, my, my friend even showed my husband videos that we did in high school, and I just can't believe that she showed him those videos, and I hope they never Yo, come I out. saw those videos. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> but I see Nevaeh doing, thi- I see Nevaeh doing the things <laughs> now, that we do now, even Nova, like... They're literally always recording and taking pictures. And like her iPad has so many vlogs where she's like, okay, <laughs> guys. Right there. So it's crazy. And Ovea keeps asking me too, when are we going to do the videos with the get ready with get ready's with me? And I think I'm going to start doing them with her probably on my makeup page. She wants to do a daddy makeup. Oh, makeup. you have to. But I y'all, it's just, cra- it's just crazy, you know? And, and like, y'all, my kids love creating content. I don't ever like... like they always like my son yesterday was like, "Hey, can we do that video where we go like this, where we're fighting each other?" <laughs> he always wants to fight, and I was like, "Jeremiah, like it's so funny because our kids literally always ask us for videos to do with them, and it's so funny because like we, we don't really like care to do videos with them because we and Jay do a lot of couple content." But they love doing it. Like Nova mm-hmm. is like little little star behind that camera. I'm telling you, she loves. They love it, and and that I think that's what that's why I Man, love doing what we do because when she starts to talk fluently. Like, yeah, I know, boy. But might, all of our kids enjoy it. They have fun doing it with us too. Oh yeah. And and I'm telling you right now, that's like, what's great about it. I think that's what's a blessing. The Kelly family, baby. Yeah, Kelly family. <laughs> but yeah, you guys have a dream. Go for it. Don't give up. 
keep going. Um, I think just be yourself too. I think that's a one thing. Don't ever go on there being something that you're not. Mm. I just, I just feel like, it, and it will show if you do that because people meet you and you're not who you are, like how you are on camera. They gonna really catch on to that, you know. Like you can't be this person that you're on, and then like you're so evil in real life, or you know this. Don't do anyone dirty. Keep everything good. Be honest. Be truthful. Be yourself. Love yourself. Cause yeah, fart every once in a while. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah honestly yeah that's pretty much it what i'm man that's about i today. love that thing baby i love that thing hey guys i appreciate y'all <laughs> too love that thing what the love what thing i really would love that thing what are you talking about what you mean i love that thing i love that thing. i love that thing <sighs> her i love that thing just love Come that thing. thing i love okay. that thing but hey, guys, I appreciate you guys tuning in for uh, another week of Mom Said, Dad Said with your hosts, Jay and Gabby, once again. Ooh. <laughs> we'll see y'all next week for another episode, baby. Till then. Bye.